Hello and good afternoon, I'm Neil Pinkett, the proprietor of Bath Cars and today's car is the VW Passat. This is the 1.9 TDI SE car, uh, estate, 105 brake horsepower, uh, a couple of owners on it I think. Uh, we've got the documents and all the logbook which we'll come to a bit later on. I've driven it about 25 miles and it all drives well, starts okay. And uh, this is the 1.9 which generally is a bit better thought of than the 2 litre, a few less problems with them. Lower CO2 and uh, good news for Ireland as well, if you're importing a car to Ireland, they love the 1.9s. Okay, so uh, what have we got then? Well, SE spec, uh, air con, uh, alloys, uh, cruise control on this one as well, and electrically adjustable uh, lumbar support and height, uh, sorry not height, uh, uh, the rear squab moves up and down electrically. Uh, it's in the metallic reflex silver and it has a load liner but it has been used this car typically like many estate cars it's been used by probably a family and has got some wear and tear on the inside uh, but the exterior is pretty tidy but the alloys have show, are showing some corrosion which is a bit of a shame uh, but uh, all in all yes yeah, straight and tidy down this side bar four uh, just a little bit of damage to this plastic sill protector here which we'll try and get reclipped in but uh, bar for that not much the alloys are a bit corroded in the centre sections this one's not looking too bad uh, there is some tax to go with the car until the end of November 2013 uh, it's looking pretty good the glass got one little tiny chip just there as well out of the uh, MOT zone that's all okay so then what can I tell you uh, well I'll have to run around the tyres and the, let's have a look inside the brake pads here for the moment so pads in there look fine a little bit of a ridge to the disc not much and that tyre is a bit better than a half worn this one here is uh, again about a bit better than half worn rear wash wiper high level brake light electronic boot release original wayside uh, bw uh, clips clips Tr plates on the back uh, luggage liner looking a bit tatty but we'll leave it in there and it's a spare wheel Chiranza with the virtually brand new tyre on it so you can rotate those around at some point put that on get the use out of it it has a, a, a luggage cover which is in place and three inertia reel belts on the back moving around the car again uh, and that one's there he's a bit worse than half worn and those discs look like they're fairly new actually not long been on the car and this one here is a bit better than half one. So got one tire that's basically not far off and needing replacing, but uh, still several thousand miles to go and put the spare on that one. I would imagine that's probably the best thing to do. Okay, so uh, yeah, new rear, new rear discs on the back and the pads look good on the back there as well. And just a few minor stone chips to the bonnet. Yeah, a little bit chippy along the front, but uh, you'd expect that with 118k on it. Uh, the bumpers are all aligned nicely and all sitting well and true. So I'll leave you with that shot and uh, we'll go and have a look at some of the documents. Okay, welcome to the uh, documents and history then for this uh, VW Passat. Uh, two keepers on this one. Uh, last change of ownership in 2008 in December. Registration date 10th of the 9th of 2007. Showing as a Passat SE TDI uh, 1896cc, so it's the 1.9, 153 grams per kilometer, which is uh, I think 175 pounds a year the tax. It's got the BXC engine code, uh, so if you're interested in uh, Ireland, it will be the cheaper one to import. Um, yep, so two keepers, one the company owner from New, and then uh, most of the time a lady in Durrington near Salisbury. Uh, there's a spare remote key in there. There is a MOT certificate valid until 28th of November 2013 with no advisory notices and the history goes 58, 82 and 108 on the previous MOTs that have been done, which is three. Then it comes to the uh, service book, which is the original VW service book, of which there are six entries and one PDI stamp. The first stamp is at 25,000 miles in uh, 010, uh, 01108. Then at uh, 35,500 in December 09, uh, 44,890 on the 5th of the 10th, uh, all done at Heritage Automotive. Next stamp 58k 598 in November 2010, uh, 78,000 miles 5th of the 9th 2011 at Heritage uh, in Salisbury was the cam belt. 
and a dust pollen filter tip there as well. And the last stamp is June 22nd, 2012 at 97929 uh, with a long life service. Uh, again, in Heritage Salisbury. So uh, probably coming up to a service, I would imagine, on the annual basis in June. So there we go then. Owners' manuals are in the car. Spare keys, current MOT and two owners on the V5. Back to the car. In the rear of the car here, the seats are a little bit uh, marked, but not too badly. A little scrub with some hot water and solution will probably help that out. There are some under carpets some carpet mats I should say underneath the rubber floor mats and electric windows all around this door card's a little bit marked up but uh, if you're going to use this as a tool it's not going to worry you at all really um, moving up front uh, four electric windows electric mirrors it's got the carpet uh, rubber carpets as well rubber over mats I should say the driver's seat isn't in bad condition there's the cup holder five-speed manual gearbox Nice radio CD with MP3, and it's also had the addition of a Bluetooth, oh, I shouldn't say Bluetooth, a connection for your iPod or iPad. I should imagine that's all Apple stuff. I don't use Apple myself, so I'm not very familiar. But it looks like an iPod connector. Has the cruise control, which is there, and I'll show you how the car starts up. Basically, it has one of these newfangled keys, which actually does contain an ordinary man mechanical key inside it. You uh, push it in and you put your foot on the clutch and cover the brake, press the button and she bursts into life. And to be fair, it sounds perfect. Absolutely spot on um, sound from the engine and the clutch feels great. Good biting point and the leather steering wheel is all good. She's done 118,233 on the miles and uh, it is okay. It needs a little bit more cleaning work but I uh, thought I'd just knock the video out and give you an idea of what she's like as it's not raining airbags all go out as they should and uh, that engine sounds spot on nice easy workable radio little cubby holes for your cards and uh, keys etc and a trip computer all the usual things that you'd expect from a quality motor car okay if you've got any questions do call me Pretty much covered everything. Traction controls on there. It doesn't have the auto hold button. I don't know. That's me mega relevant, but uh, she is running nice and has the benefit of the tax. Okay, do give me a call if you're interested in this car. I'll be happy to help. Part exchange available, etc., etc. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.